Gold is highly valued and in ancient times was even considered a type of Chinese medicine. Nowadays, people are experimenting with the nutritional benefits of the precious metal. But what are the effects on the human body? From desserts to pharmaceuticals, we look at how gold plays a role in the foods, beverages and medicines we consume. Our Sunday In-Depth Report. Opening the Compendium of Materia Medica, written by Ming Dynasty Chinese medicine master Li Shi Jun, you can find a detailed description of the use of gold to treat ailments. Raw gold has toxins that are removed through processing. Gold processed into gold leaf or foil can then be used as medicine. It can aid the spirit, harden bone marrow, and remove pathogens from the five internal organs. In ancient times, Chinese medicine doctors used gold as an expensive type of medicine. Nowadays, however, people are using gold as a food ingredient. Some fine dining restaurants feature gold leaf to lure in customers. It's so unusual because I've never had anything with gold leaf on top. It dissolves as it enters the mouth. The feeling was quite exciting. We use it to highlight the ingredients and make the dish more presentable. In recent years, some businesses have been putting gold into alcohol. This is our gold brewing equipment. The clear liquid is the alcohol, and the fine pieces inside are the gold foil. The system allows us to mix the gold in quickly. Taking a closer look, we see the gold foil floating inside. Few people know the hard work behind production. Each type of alcohol is a little different, so it has a different type of interaction with gold. We need to carefully control the gold volume, fermentation period, temperature, and pressure. Many businesses use gold as a selling point, but few actually explain what effect gold has on the body. The Food and Drug Administration says regulations existed long ago governing the use of edible gold leaf. Gold is often used for its decorative color and can be used for cakes, candy and chocolate in suitable amounts. We ask that gold for food use have a purity of over 90 percent, with a silver content below 7 percent and copper content below 4 percent. If you look at the chemical structure of pure gold, you'll see that it has no toxins. What we fear most is that businesses aren't clear and use gold compounds or gold chloride, which can cause skin inflammation, gastroenteritis, or acute renal failure. The Ministry of Health and Welfare doesn't have a limit on the use of gold as a pigment. For decoration, you just need a little layer to cover the top, meaning it shouldn't exceed prescribed volumes. For gold used as a food product, we will have to make another assessment. Most edible gold takes the form of gold leaf. Traditional gold leaf is made by hand. Traditional gold leaf can be pounded to 100 nanometers, but it's difficult to control the thickness. It may be 110 or 150 nanometers, and there won't be any uniformity. Tang Shangwen has been researching gold for 30 years. He entered a printing company as one of his first jobs and became interested in gold after seeing a technique for stamping business cards with gold. He would later stumble into nanotechnology. First, we take out the nano gold foil so we can hold it in our hands and lightly rotate it. Can you see the gold seem to disappear? Now we take a look at the traditional gold foil. If we rub it, flecks start to come out. Because it was hammered to this thickness, it doesn't have a molecular structure. Nano gold foil has 100% absorption and can be accurately measured. Its use in medicine could help to increase Taiwan's competitiveness in biotechnology. It's not labor intensive and doesn't require a large plant, but you need trained experts and a small team which can assist in the development of medicine and patent applications. 
If we're able to make these drugs, the technology can be transferred to international pharmaceutical companies. From medicinal uses in ancient times to nanotechnology today, the uses of gold are diverse and likely to increase in the future.